He was perhaps the greatest pacer, standard bred, and stallion of all time, and ultimately became one of harness racing's greatest losses far too soon. Some Beach Somewhere was euthanized on January 14, 2018, after a brief battle with cancer at age 13, and the entire sport was devastated. The superstar son of Mach 3 earned more than $3.2 million and set a world record of 146 and 4. The 2008 Horse of the Year won 20 of 21 career starts, voted two-time Horse of the Year in Canada and Hall of Fame inductee on both sides of the border. Some Beach Somewhere was quite simply a big, powerful performer that took your breath away, a monster on the track and as a sire. Brent McGrath admitted he was fortunate to grab the right halter when he cobbled together five partners and signed for an Ontario sired bargain for $40,000 at the Lexington Selected Yearling Sale and defied conventional wisdom by training the horse himself at home in Toronto, Nova Scotia. After a successful yet brief six for six freshman season, Some Beach Somewhere came back at three to dominate his home country's signature event, the 2008 North America Cup for the Schooner Stable. Paul McDonnell said Some Beach Somewhere had three things, strength, flawless gait, and will to win, and most horses had just one. Some Beach Somewhere remained undefeated in his first 10 starts, and stunning was just one appropriate adjective for his U.S. debut at the Meadowlands, a wire-to-wire 148-3 victory in his pace elimination. The 2008 Meadowlands pace is considered by many as the greatest race in history, and the only loss in the storied career of Some Beach Somewhere may have been his finest performance. After leading through pace record fractions of 51 and 4 and 119 and 1, the favorite was collared by Artificial, and it took a world record of 147. The Beach would bounce back by running the table, setting a half mile track world record of 149 and 2 in the Confederation Cup and following a three-week break from sickness, he lowered the mile track world record for a three-year-old to 146-4 and four at the Red Mile and equaled the all-age race mark in the bluegrass, one of his eight world records. Some Beach Somewhere added wins in the Tattersalls, Messenger and Ontario Sire Stakes Superfinal before returning to the scene of his only loss and capped his illustrious career with one of his familiar wire-to-wire -wire victories while clinching Horse of the Year honors over Dewey Cheatham and Howe. Some Beach Somewhere quickly became a prolific stallion, standing at Hanover Shoe Farms in Pennsylvania, siring the winners of more than $85 million from just six racing age crops. The first to sire the winners of more than $20 million in a single season, he was the sport's leading stallion in 2017. Among his 13 millionaires, two-time Pacer of the Year, Captain Treacherous. His sons Huntsville and Down by the Seaside finished 1-2 in the 2017 Meadowlands Pace. And Pure Country, became the first female pacer in history to win Dan Patch Awards at ages two, three, and four. Brent McGrath said some beach somewhere inspired dreamers, gave the industry a boost, and small-time people hope. With the news that some beach somewhere had passed, tributes came pouring in. Aside from the obvious sadness, there were endless words of praise for a great champion on the track, who is an honor to see, an amazing athlete, and a star in the breeding shed. A legendary performer, developed in Canada's Maritimes, whose legacy lives on in the blood of his offspring and in the minds of his legion of fans.